Hello, BookTube. I've got a tiny bit of mail for you today here at the end of a week, the beginning of a long weekend. This is the last mail we'll get this week. An absolutely gorgeous early summer day. Birds are extra loud, chirping all day and all night. They're all looking for mates. They're all looking to, uh, to start families for the summer. Everything is bright and green. The air has been dry and lovely and mild. The bean is freshly washed. She had a B-A-T-H, and I don't even know why I spell it out. She knows what it is, and she doesn't like it, but she doesn't fight against it, doesn't traumatize her, and she knows she's going to feel better when it's over, uh, and so on and so forth, right down the line, including uh, the book that I read this afternoon, which was uh, this thing here. I think we saw it on this channel. This was fantastic. Uh, it's a history of diplomatic embassies. And that sounds very dry, and I was expecting it to be dry, but no, no. <clears throat> Not only is it tremendously insightful, but it's lovely prose. That's the thing that struck me first about it. It's just goes throughout the book. Just lovely prose. Uh, so that's always a plus when the, when the latest book you've read it is terrific. Uh, and we have some packages here. They're all manila envelopes. This is the Thrilla in Manila. <laughs> We're, so no boxes, but we'll see... We'll see what we have here. As far as I can tell, no actual mail came. These packages came. But the mailbox itself has been empty of little bonbons <laughs> of uh, envelopes or junk mail or book review periodicals. And I don't know if that's <clears throat> just that it was a, a, a mild day or if the mail has not come and maybe the foot traffic mail, the, the guy who walks around with a bag on his shoulder, maybe he's just not going to come today. I uh, have no idea. Uh, so anyway, what have we got here? Oh, <laughs> oh wow. Uh, okay, this is uh, coming out in August. This is more po uh, popular na natural history. This is by Jules Acton, and it is called Oak Lore, Adventures in a World of Extraordinary Trees. <clears throat> and this is about oak trees. <laughs> this is a book about oak, oak trees. Uh, in this book, the author... An ambassador for the Woodland Trust explores the incredibly diverse history of the King of the Woods, from the source of food and shelter to its use in literature as a plot device and muse, its role as an essential ingredient in ink and in mythology from across the British Isles as a sacred plant and precious resource. <clears throat> the author's infectious enthusiasm shines through in chapters that open with excerpts from oaky poems, as well as tips for connecting with nature, like how to recognize bird songs that help moths and butterflies thrive. <laughs> Fantastic. <laughs> I don't think I've ever read a book solely about oak trees, uh, so I'm happy to do it. I won't do it right away. I'll wait until August, but uh, fantastic. Always great to have that. That, uh, that will go on the, uh, on the pile. I say about these things, these things that are books that are coming down later in the, in the year, that they're going to go on the pile, but the pile needs a major amount of work. And I don't mean just moving books up for June to put June books on the top shelf. I mean reorganizing the whole thing. I, there are, I think the bookcase that David Murphy and I set aside for so-called workbooks might be just a touch too small. I don't know if that's the case. I'll need to just pull everything off and, and reset it all. Uh, but what have we got, what have we got here? Uh, my great quotes at Grove Atlantic. I have documentation that I don't need. Let's put that down there. This is a finished copy, so it's probably coming up soon. Oh, no, no, late July. This is late July. This is translated literature, which is always fun. This is The Son of Man by Jean-Baptiste Del Amo. Uh, translated by... <coughs> translated from the French by Frank Wynne. And the author was born in 1981 and is one of France's most exciting and ambitious young writers. Okay. <laughs> All right. Uh, let's read about the book. The fact that the author was born in 1981 tells me, I think, pretty much everything I need to know without. But let's see if I'm, if I'm predicting wrong. Uh, let's see here. This, was, this author was the author of a book called Animalia which won the Republic of Consciousness Prize. Okay, so again, all suspicions confirmed. Uh, let's see here. So what is this book, though? A blazing new novel exploring nature, family, and violence set on a hostile and glorious mountainside haunted by transgressions of the past. 
In the soft morning light, a man, a woman, and a child drive beyond the borders of a sleepy French post-industrial town into the forested mountains beyond. After several years of absence, the man has reappeared in the life of his wife and their young son, intent on being a family again. He takes them to a dilapidated house in the mountains where he grew up with his own ruthless father. There, while the mother watches the passing days with apprehension, the son discovers the bewitching enchantment of nature. From the herds of wild horses who gather under a grove of sycamores to the infinite expanse of a glittering night sky. Any guesses on what's going to happen? <laughs> I swear. I swear. If, if this were a little bit less predictable, it wouldn't be quite so funny. Anybody want to place bets on whether or not the father becomes evil? <laughs> Although the family is at last reunited, the father exerts a growing hold over mother and child, dictating the mysterious laws of their new, isolated existence, supported by the provisions he has stockpiled in a lean-to. As the weather turns from wondrous spring into the heat of summer and finally the hostile chill of autumn, the house falls further into disrepair, and a return to the mother and son's previous life seems more and more impossible. <laughs> Okay, uh, this is an exceptional novel of nature and wildness that traces how violence is inherited from one generation to the next. No, no, you, what you're exploring is how violence is passed on from one heterosexual man to another. <laughs> That's what you're exploring. Not how violence is inherited from one generation to the next, but how heterosexual cishet men are evil. All of them are, including in this book, genetically. They're genetically evil. <laughs> nice try. That's a nice try. How violence oh, is inherited from one generation to the next. Fine. Yeah, that's great. Uh, and a blister examination of how families fold together and break apart under duress. No, you're wrong again. This family isn't folding, isn't folding together or breaking apart under duress. The duress is the man. This is, the family is being folded together and then being broken apart. It's nothing to do with how families do that. It's how evil white men do that. <laughs> So my predictions weren't wrong, <laughs> but we'll see. We'll see what the uh, the book, the actual book, has to hold. Uh, it's it's uh, a good ways away, two months away. So uh, I, uh, it's a finished copy. I don't think I'll get. I don't think I'll get you know anything else here. So I'll I'll put it on the July shelf and just I'll get to it in late June or early July. It could surprise me. Uh, I doubt it very much, but it could surprise me. Uh, and then. Uh, finally, the last package, and then we'll be done with the uh, the thriller in Manila. <laughs> what is this? What is this last one? Oh my! It's a bunch of books. Oh great. Okay. Why? What? What are we getting a bunch of books for? Oh, 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 oh fantastic! Oh, great. Uh, okay. Wow, I didn't think these would get here so fast. Uh, these are from Grove Atlantic, and Grove Atlantic is uh, reprinting all of Len Dayton <laughs> in these gorgeous trade paperback editions. They have done a huge amount of them, and I am getting, uh, in in this package, I'm getting the, the uh, Bernard Sampson novels. Is that right? Yeah. So this is uh, Spy Hook. Spy Line, and Spy Sinker. So the, the this this particular trilogy. I wonder if this actually shows. Oh yeah, yes indeed. Look at all of those. Oh man, I wish I wish that I had them all. I wasn't going to be grabby with the folks at Grove Atlantic and ask for all the backlist. Uh, but let let's uh, let's do Spy Hook. Uh, so that we know what we're talking about here. I don't think Len Dayton needs much of an introduction, even on BookTube, right? Or maybe he does. Maybe he's a generation too early. Maybe BookTube doesn't really know him. Uh, he came up on Dr. November last year quite often. Uh, let's see here. When the department sends Bernard Sampson to Washington to track down a million pounds that have just gone missing, it's just the start of a far deeper and darker mission that takes him from the English suburbs to Berlin, to the south of France, to Los Angeles, and the heart of a maelstrom. Friends become enemies, colleagues betray each other, and Bernard is about to face the biggest surprise of his life. In the brilliant first novel, in Len Dayton's Hook, Line, and Sinker trilogy, no one is above suspicion, even Bernard himself. 
I have not read these, the Hook, Line, and Sinker trilogy. I have not read these in forever. Oh, my God. When did these first come out? The date won't help me much because I didn't read them right away. I read the mass market paperbacks as they came out in the U.S. Uh, 1988. So, wow. All right, fantastic. I'm always up for really good reprint lines. I'm really tempted to ask for all the others. But I couldn't do it under any pretense of writing about them. So that like, kind of invalidates things, I would think. Uh, and I don't know that I have a date for these. I'm not sure that... Oh, all right. They all come out on July the 2nd. So they'll all be out... The, oh, this, the whole Hook, Line, and Sinker trilogy will be out this summer in these beautiful trade paperbacks. How nice that Len Dayton is getting another shot at life. Uh, great. Okay. Well, nothing really immediate here. These are all, uh, these are all coming out in July or later. So this last bail haul of the week is not going to impinge on my reading tonight. I've got a bunch of stuff lined up. I was perfectly willing to make room, but no, nope, no need. <laughs> so, so that's what we've got. We've got Len Dayton, Spy Hook, Spy Line, and Spy Sinker. We have uh, The Son of Man, unfortunately, am I right? Up top. <laughs> uh, by Jean-Baptiste Del Amo. Uh, and we've got Oak Lore. A forthcoming book about oak trees. <laughs> Those of you who like your nature lit uh, might want to pre-order oak lore. <laughs> so there you go. That is the mail for today. Uh, I have so much to do, but all of it is pleasant. Uh, so I'm just going to write all night long. I'm going to write all night long and all day tomorrow. The temptation is on me to take the long weekend off, Sunday and Monday, like everybody else in the country. But that wouldn't be fair to my imaginary booktube friends, and it's not like making videos is a job. So I, I probably will be back with four videos tomorrow. <laughs> so I'll wrap this up for now, and I'll see you all then. <laughs> Thank you, booktube.